Hey guys! I cannot get comfortable. <laughs> I think this is as comfortable as it's gonna get right here. Okay, hey guys. So I wanted to get on here and show you guys what I'm bringing to the hospital. My labor and delivery bag. So I'm probably only gonna carry this. Something like this. It says mama. E. <laughs> Right, but I'm still gonna bring a little small maleta suitcase, right? Yeah. Okay, let's just start it off. I know this looks messy, but I'm gonna organize it. It's gonna happen today. Let's do this. First off, this I'm bringing in this bag because this is what I wanna give birth in. I actually got this from the Freedom Mom. It is really big, but when I put it on, it's actually really comfortable and it, it has an opening in the back and on the side for nursing and it has pockets so i really like that so that's what i'm going to use if you guys hear anything crazy happening that's zola i also got the freedom mom socks so i'm just bringing them and then i also got these so these are my little slippers that i wear around the house i wash them and i'm probably going to throw them out once i use them in the hospital yeah i'm going to throw them out once i use them in the hospital but it's just something to have on my feet, right? Just in case I have to walk around or anything like that. So that's gonna go straight in here, right? Now, okay, then what else do I have? Stuff, I have stuff. No, for real, seriously. Guys, and, when, and before I even get into it like crazy, don't like, judge me like this is what i want to bring and i've done a lot of research and i've looked up a lot of things and i've seen a lot of checklists and this is what i personally want to bring i might not use everything but it makes me feel good you know it makes me feel good so don't judge me so i have this and this i actually got at a herbalife event so first off i have a clip and a hair tie just in case i don't have one on me and I'm just gonna, you know, who knows? Maybe I wanna give birth like that. Maybe I wanna just, you know, leave me the hell alone. Just put it all up, you know, not even trying to look cute. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna feel. So that's what we're doing with that. I got my makeup, brush, all that. Who knows if I'll have time to actually do my makeup, but maybe after I have my baby, I'll be in the mood. Eddie could put some makeup on me and I could take a really cute picture, right? This is all my like um, toiletries. I don't know what they call it. So I have some extra pads here. I know they give it to you in the hospital, but I brought these. I have my um, Palmer's Belly for stretch marks cream. So like, you know, the next day right after I can just like get back to myself. I got our toothbrushes um, just in case Eddie stays the night. As of right now, it says after we have our baby two hours after he actually has to leave. That's what's happening right now at my 38 weeks, right? But anything that changed, deodorant, my hand and body cream, some um, dry shampoo, and some body wash. Again, don't judge me. This just makes me feel good. It's good to be prepared. What if I get really hair greasy after giving birth and I just need some dry shampoo to take a picture? You know, I got it. So. That's that. Then I have this, which I also got in the Freedom Mom collection. It was like a box that I got on Amazon and it came with like everything for postpartum care. So this literally has, I didn't even know there was a back pocket that is so cute. So this literally has um, disposable underwears, the, the um, boy shorts that I like disposable underwear um i got my perineal healing foam cooling pain relief from vag to tush you know things um trust us your vaginal your vagina your vaginal your vagina will thank you later this is the to clean yourself i know they give you all this stuff but it's always good to have your own cooling pad liners you know like you never know what if i don't like it so I got this and then of course it's still gonna be put to use because when I go home I get to use this right so that's that 
then I also got, I brought these two, which are cooling. Um, okay, so then besides that, I have the instant cooling therapy absorbent pad. So basically you just crack it and then you're gonna hear like a crack and then you just, you know, and then it's really good, right? So this is that. Yeah, I'm just gonna, Eddie's right here looking at me like, mm -hmm. what the hell is this? I will be there to also. <laughs> <laughs> so I had brought two, right? I have two more that I'm probably going to use at home. So we also brought this, which is a car starter because you don't know. Now I'm playing. <laughs> this is actually can start a car, but more than ever, guys, I need this for to charge my phone because Lord, I don't know how long I'll be in labor. I don't know how many days I'm going to stay there. I don't know if I'm going to leave right away. I don't know, but I know that my phone needs to be charged. I also am bringing my tripod, tripod, but my phone is on my tripod, but I'm definitely bringing my tripod. It's like a must because it's just going to be me and Eddie in the room. So how are we going to take pictures, right? So that brings me to my camera. Exhibit A. I'm going to bring my camera. Um, I have it connected to my phone so we can hopefully take good pictures. It's just going to be us. So hopefully we can get some good quality pictures. This is pretty much what I do. So I don't want to miss out on these moments like you know mm -hmm. and then eddie's mm -hmm, me mm -hmm. so that's that that's my job through the whole pregnancy is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, he knows okay so besides that i also got a few nursing bras i'm bringing two nursing bras with me so as you guys saw i brought my what i'm gonna wear to labor in two nursing bras and then I also have a pajama. And then I also have a outfit to go home in, right? And I'll probably end up bringing one more thing just in case. Guys, like something comfy. So this is my outfit to go home in. So I got three things, right? Then what else do I got? My charger for my camera because that would suck. Okay, so then when it comes to the nursing part, I don't know, this is my first time nursing, so I'm just bringing whatever I think. So I brought some nipple um, pads. I also brought some, this is like a, this is something that you put on your boob and it saves the milk. I don't know how much, I don't know if I'm going to be like a cow out here, like just squirting milk out, or I'm going to be like deprived of milk. I have no idea, but I'm going to be ready. And then I have this nipple cream. And then I also have the other nipple cream that I found and then found. <laughs> so these two nipple creams. So I have the Earth Mama Organic Nipple Butter and then the Lanolin Cream. So that's what I have. And this is going to be my nursing bag. I also brought a comfy blanket. It's like a yummy, comfy thing. And then I also brought another sheet. And I'm probably going to bring one of my pillows with a different pillow cover so I can just toss it in the wash. I also brought this that I want to have on me. And I want to have it on me. <laughs> I want to have it on me or on the baby or if that gets to happen. It says, God, no, new, our, it's so hard to read it backwards. Our hearts needed you. I'm like reading it from the back. How cute is that, right? So this is what I got. And then what else? I also have this cover, which is going to go over the baby's car seat. Um, I just want to make sure, obviously, through this COVID-19, we just have to make sure that um, everything is covered, right? So with, and then in this bag, this is more like for Eddie. And maybe even me, I probably will use some, but I know I am not eating. Like I can't eat once you enter. So these are like nuts, little things to snack on, some snack bars, granola bars, um, fruit nature bars, just some snacks that I'm sure Eddie will put to use. And now, babe, yeah. pass me the baby bag. I'm gonna show you what I put in the baby bag. Also last thing, I got a postpartum waist belt. So 
this is something I'm doing. I, I'm doing it because one of my girls who snapped back amazingly, um, obviously everybody's body's different, things change. Um, right when she gave birth, like literally within that hour, she put on her belt and already had it on even with cramps and everything. So this is our baby bag. My baby bag. Eddie's baby bag. Yeah. So let me put that there. I'm going to put all this stuff back. So this is the baby bag, right? And so I got pacifiers. I got like little things with his name on it. I have... Um, I know they give you all this stuff, but I I just brought it. I also have bibs because you know babies spit up and whatever happens. So I brought a lot of bib things, not bibs, but like the cloths to like wipe him. I also brought some. These were all free, so I'm just bright. I just brought some extra wipes. I know they give it to you in the hospital, but again you can never be too prepared what if we're in the car on the way home whatever happens or the nurse is taking too long like i need i need it and i need it now you know then i also brought some swaddles i also got a little and here's like a little brush for his hair if he has hair oh my god i don't know but i'm sure he'll have hair some little mittens to go with his little outfits, a few blankets, two swaddles. Guys, I really probably went and I brought an, a, a mushy blanket for him and all that stuff. And I also brought like the outfit that I wanted to wear first. Um, that's supposed to be coming in the mail today, actually. So that would go in here. So it's just this and this, which Eddie's gonna carry, and then I'm just gonna carry my little bag. And then that's it. We might not use everything everything that might not be put to use but what i do know is that i will be prepared and this makes me feel good you know knowing i have everything so i did go through a checklist um like my little checklist for myself and this is what i put together so now we're ready to go we're 38 weeks and two days so the baby can come at any time and we are super prepared more than ever whether we're staying only for the day or we're staying for three days or whatever happens we just don't know I'm ready. Let's get it. <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching. Um, definitely subscribe below and make sure um, you comment anything, likes, good positive comments, please. Guys, I am a first time mom um, and I'm doing what I feel makes me feel good. So even if it's not right to somebody else, it's okay because I am me and you are you. <laughs> Let's do this. Have a great day, guys. Bye.